G'day and welcome to Dave's Water Workshop. Today I'm going to be showing you what I have seen described as the most beautiful model kit in the world. It's this. It is a Porsche Bugatti. It's a 1 8 scale Bugatti. It's big. Do you want to see how big it is? Here's my hand interacting with it. It's big. Uh, I would guesstimate from here to here it's about half a metre long, 50 centimetres, <clears throat> and it's fantastic. I found this, found, I bought this, but, wobble, 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 I purchased this second hand, pre-built, in a local op shop, in a charity shop, and the price I paid, I'll show you what it looks like in the window here. The price I paid, I don't want to tell you, um, but it was significantly less than what these normally sell for. Now there is a downside to this particular model, which I'll get to soon enough. Oh, there's a couple of little faults with it, but there's one major downside which I have to rectify. But um, it's stunning, it's stunning. Alright, so let's... Do I go through the history of the car first, or do I show you how cool it is? Let's just show you how cool it is. Check this out. So the doors open, working door handles, and the windows, well, <laughs> the windows wind up and down. That's quite extraordinary. Uh, the interior, the seats flip forward, the dashboard is a thing of beauty. Let's get the camera set up here. So the dashboard the steering wheel turns the front wheels and it has working levers. It's just extraordinary. Um, there's deep inside here, there is a handbrake which works. Extraordinary. Let's have a look at the engine. So we've got these little spring mounted clips here. Oh, sorry get my hand out of the way and use my other hand, even better. Tiny spring mounted clips. Which then allow you to see the engine. Which is quite detailed, quite extraordinary how detailed it is. All those pipes, all that pipe work. It's amazing. Around the front end, we have the three headlines, the horns, I think those are horns, I'm not actually sure. Um, working suspension, well, let's show you where the problem with this vehicle is. So, working suspension on this side, but you can already see the problem on the other side, which is why I got this for a bargain. Let's just close up some bits first. Actually, let's just take the hood off entirely. I'll close the door. So yes, you can see where the issue is, but I'll turn the whole car around. Oh, it's big and it's heavy and it's fragile at the front here. This is not the best video, sorry guys. Right. <clears throat> so as you can see, this wheel is completely loose, the axle is broken, and I'll flip the car over and show you soon. Ah, so that's why it's a bit of a bargain. This is one of the brake lines. Um, yeah, you can see why this was a bargain, but still, all things considered, It, it really was a bargain compared to what these sell for. I've seen these sell on eBay. I've done a bit of research. You know, $1,500, $2,000 for a good condition one. Obviously, this one has some issues. But, I love these windows. Love them. Check that out. So cool. <laughs> so cool. Um, yes, obviously, there are some issues with this vehicle. But all in all... It is fantastic. Let's 
get some focus down the back end of town. Um, one other thing that's a problem with this vehicle is it's missing a little red tail light here. You can see the one on the other side. But the workmanship in this, it's just phenomenal. So these kits, I'll tell you a bit of the backstory of the kits while I play with it. These kits were released by an Italian company, Pocher, Pocher, I'm not sure about, about the pronunciation, back in the 1960s. And they're like, you know, 2,000, 3,000 piece kits. And it's all metal and plastic. It's, it's the entire substructure, all these little nuts and bolts and things, they're metal. And so it takes, you know, engineering degree almost to make these things. Fantastic, huh? Um, so yeah, you, you put them together yourself. They came in kit form, but they've been described as the most beautiful kits in the world. And particularly, the Bugatti has been described as the most beautiful kit in the world. There's a bit of dust here. Oops. Um, and look, you know, I bought it purely intending just to flip it on. I was not going to hold on to it. But the thing's grown on me. It's fantastic. I mean, it's ridiculously large. But um, it's gorgeous. All right, I'm going to carefully turn it over and show you the underneath. So here's the chassis and the underneath side. And, yeah, I mean, look at this detail. It's phenomenal. All of those bolts are what holds it together. There's no glue on this thing. It's all bolted and screwed together. It's exquisite, isn't it? Real rubber tyres. It's just fantastic. Instructions in Italian, sinistro for left. I love it. And yeah, let's get to the ugly bit. Can't avoid it any longer. So, it's obviously been dropped in this corner at some stage. So, the front bumper bar is quite loose. And, as I was saying, the axle has snapped. You can see where this die cast metal piece, this should connect to this. And that's the problem should go like that and that would hold it all in place obviously it's not um, now I've had a look online and you can buy replacement axles but I just don't have the tools shouldn't leave it like that actually um, I don't think I have the tools to work on bolts that small so I don't know at this stage it's in the to-do basket it displays well um, but it's definitely in the I'll think about it, basket. So that's the underneath. Let's turn the old girl the right way up again, where she looks a lot better and a lot less mangled. Much more elegant. <laughs> um, I've been told, well, I've been told, I've read online that these really early classic Porsche kits, so they still produce them in Italy. Um, they tend to make sort of fancy Lamborghinis and Ferraris and stuff these days. But uh, back in the 60s, they produced a whole bunch of really classic cars. So this, um, some Rolls Royces, some uh, Alfa Romeos and Fiats and stuff like that. Um, and I've been told that on these really early kits, like this one, you can actually crank the handle and if you've built it properly, you can see the cams turning and stuff like that inside the engine. Insane. I've also seen them lit up where you can install batteries in the body and then you can light up the three massive spotlights at the front. They're just amazing. They are real museum quality automotive models. Which to me is mind blowing. Let's see if I can put this on without ruining it. Um, and it really does, you know, it feels like it's got all the bells and whistles. It's quite extraordinary. Was my hand completely in front of that? I think it was. Um, yeah, they truly are extraordinary. And, yeah, I just, I, I kind of love this one now. It's stunning. Would I describe it as the most beautiful model in the world? I mean, the subject is quite, quite beautiful. You can't tell me that's not an elegant looking machine. Is it the most beautiful model in the world? I think it might be. <laughs> that sounds ridiculous, but I think it might be.
it's incredible. I'm going to try and show you a bit more of the interior because it is really stunning. So that handbrake lever, just past the gear lever, apparently that does operate the brakes. Again, having not built it myself, I'm not willing to try it. But yeah, electrics. It's incredible. It's quite extraordinary. Whoever did this did a good job on the leather or the imitation leather, whatever it may be. Real carpet. Real carpet. Pretty extraordinary. It's quite extraordinary, isn't it? Wow. And like I said, the steering wheel, if the front axle wasn't buggered, the steering wheel would actually turn the wheels, which is cool. The front end really is where all the character is. Such a pity it's been dropped on that far side. Bugger. So yeah, as you guys know, I'm not much of a car modeler. Um, but when I saw this, particularly when I saw the price, I couldn't walk past it. And I'm glad I bought it. It's a nightmare to store. It's so big. I'll show you where it lives in a tick. Um, but yeah, I loved it. And it's growing on me every day. Ridiculous, I know. It's quite, quite extraordinary to hold the handiwork of someone else in your hands and go, this is something special. I feel honoured to have a chance to do that. Yeah. All right, I'll show you where it lives for now. And then I'll sign off. So here's my workbench. And up here is where I keep some special stuff. So there's my scratch-built sci-fi, an old remote control, sand scorcher, radio control, and that's it up there. It's huge. It's just massive. That's my hand. The Titanic here is... Whoa. Let me get a ruler. Hang on a second. So that's 30 centimetres to about halfway through the door. Yeah, it's about 55 centimetres long. Crazy. Um, so look, I hope this is of interest to you. It just goes to show, always keep your eyes peeled when you walk past op shops because this was in the window and I didn't know anything about them and a little bit of research online and a bit of guesswork as to what scale it is. And suddenly I have something that's quite valuable which is kind of exciting, even if it is buggered at the front. <laughs> All right, guys, keep an eye out for the most beautiful models in the world. Let me know what you think the most beautiful models in the world are. And uh, no supermodels, please. <laughs> Let's keep it mature. And I'll chat to you next time on Dave's Model Workshop. See ya.